Okay. I push the trigger, so we will be like this. This is M4. What's up guys, Bro Jamang is here. Today I would like to show you my first M4 and my for my first J Ball Blaster. I got it since 2018. So what's the difference about J Ball Blaster, Airsoft, Paintball and Rear Rifle or Nerf? I will tell you more in this video. Before I go through for more details in the videos, I will like tell you difference the J Ball Blaster, Paintball, Airsoft, Nerf and Rear Rifle. A submachine gun is a magazine fit automatic carbine designed to fire pistol cartridge. The term submachine gun was coined by John T. Thompson, the inventor of the Thompson submachine gun. The submachine gun was developed during World War I in 1914 to 1918. This is the sample when this rifle shoot on the target. Paintball is a competitive team shooting sport in which player eliminate opponent from play by hitting them with a specially dye filled gelatin capsules that break up on impact. Paintball are usually shoot using a low energy air weapon called a paintball marker that is powered by compressed air, nitrogen or carbon dioxide. This is a sample, the bullet of paintball. We'll put some uh, some balls in here. We've got our mix of paint as usual, some reball, some standard paint, some redemption, some toxic. Yeah, there's all sorts of things. Just dump that in. That's about 160 balls right there. And you can see we still have room in the top. Close our lid, turn it on. As you can see, nothing happened because there's paint in it. There you go. And this is effect when the paintball shoot on your body. Oh, right. shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> How's it feel? You ready? Ooh. Doesn't look as bad as mine, to be fair. Airsoft is competitive team sport in which participants eliminate opponent by shooting each other with plastic BBs launched via replica weapon called Airsoft Gun. Airsoft is commonly compared to paintball, which is a reactional shooting sport similar in concept but with some difference. Unlike paintball, airsoft pellets do not mark their target and heat are not always visibly apparent throughout the pellet with mark or wet on the target exposed skin. The game relies heavily on the horror system in which it is the ethical duty of the person who has been hit to call themselves out regardless of whether or not anyone saw it happen. This is sample bullet of airsoft. Good quality control. As you can see, 5.95. 5.95. That's good quality control. And this is a fact when the airsoft shoot on your body. What's the pain? That's that's ten from ten. Ten out of ten. That's like 
the maximum an airsoft player can take. Okay. Anything else would be ridiculous. Now let's do it for 15. No, no 15. I'm done. <laughs> this I'm not gonna do 15. Right, nerves stand for non-expanding reactional form. This is supported by the fact that the dart are made from solid spongy material. To produce it, polystyrene react with another compound in the presence of the another reaction. It is this gas that created open pocket with the polyurethane that in turn make the material soft and light. However, there is no such acrom list on any of the pattern for the blaster and or another product in the Nerf product line. So this urban legend has long proven false. Is the background. This is sample the bullet of nerve. And this is effect when the nerve shoot on your body. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, does the snorting give you an advantage? Yes. Got it! As you may know, a new breed of toy gun is on the rise. Hydro Blaster, also known as a gel ball shooter, have now been around for close to 18 months. Well, basically is uh, what happened when a paintball and aerosol have babies. You get Hydro Blaster, think of it, like a hybrid of paintball and aerosol. The gel ball blaster are similar to that of the plastic nerf or airsoft gun. However, they are fire small harmless water ball from 20 to 60 feet depending on the model. The gel ball armor, also not a crystal ball or obese, are non-toxic, environmentally friendly and are formed by a soaking in the water for around 4 hours. This squishy gel ball hold their form which being fired and they explode on impact. An exacting but safe sport. These blasters are the ideal choice amongst many Australians and the best alternative to paintball and airsoft. And this is the effect when the gel ball blaster shoot on your body. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Can you see that? Is it showing on the camera? Right, so we got a couple marks here. I don't know what the back is like. Yeah, there's a lot of marks here. Um, we should have pretty close range, guys. You can see in front of you. They are seems like airsoft but different because they are use a gel ball. Airsoft is use a BB gun. That's a different from the airsoft and gel ball blaster. As you can see in that video, the game is same. So in front of you, this is my first gel ball blaster. They call it M4A1. 
They are made uh, from the USA since 1994. As you can see, the Jabo Buster is made from China because the China and the USA use an aerosol. But, but the China take a different things from the USA, so they make their own toy rifle. I will tell you why the China made a new rifle using the Jabo Buster. So, in front of you, I will tell you part of my M4 one that I get it. So, this is M4 one This is barrel, magazine, scope, and grip trigger. So, I can show you the best of this gel blaster. This seems like a real rifle. Push this. Right, you can see the inside of the rifle. Okay. Alright. Okay, this M4 one use a battery. In this M4 one they put the battery behind this rifle. So we click here and drag it. So the battery in here. So the battery will be like this. The jet ball buster have two kind of a battery, and the black color is 11 volt. The blue color is 7 volt. And these two batteries have a different power for your blaster when you use it. You can feel it, the 7 volt and 11 volt. So I will put this battery on this rifle and I put it and I on it. The battery on the rifle to make sure that you can see what happened when it's on. So okay. I push it the trigger. So we will be like this. This is M4 and one. Okay, I will show you the first thing is scope. This scope using a battery and need to push on and off button when you use it. This scope has a green light only to make sure the enemy on target. So, this is for the second one is for magazine. This magazine can put 500 gel ball bullet in one mag. So the mag need to open the mag clip to put a gel on the magazine. This mag has an engine to make the gel move into the tube to make sure the gel go on the top. Then the switch is active while you push the trigger from the rifle. This is crystal ball, they are bullet for gel ball blaster and they have many colors blue, white and transparent or black. Alright, this is hand grip and I can put some pop up using this rifle. This rail can put your flashlight, laser, and camera to shoot you while you're playing this game. So, this is M41 Jumbo Blaster. For this week, I show you. After this, I will show you the hand grip and hop up, how they are function, how they are using. Thank you for watching for my videos, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to click the ring button. Oh, so, alright, see you next time. Ciao! Woo! Hi guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like these videos and please click the ring button to get more updates.